Well hello and welcome to tutorial 40 in this series of tutorials designed to help you learn TradeStation Easy Language and uh, if you're not part of our email mailing list then please go to markplex.com and uh, join the email list and I'm happy to let you know when we create new tutorials or programs. Uh, in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at uh, Bollinger Bands and here you can see standard Bollinger Band indicator applied to a TradeStation 5 minute e-mini chart and what we're going to do in this this tutorial is in effect keep the upper and the lower bands fixed and we're going to watch how the price moves between those bands so to give you an idea what I mean I'm just going to switch on the uh, indicator that I've already created and uh, you can see here that the uh, the upper band is now fixed at an arbitrary amount of 50 and the lower bar is sorry the lower level is fixed at an arbitrary level of minus 50 and uh, the price then moves around between and above and below those levels. So for example, you can see here on the actual chart that the, the close value starts to go below the lower Bollinger Band and you can see here that that price indeed is below. And uh, the way that we're doing this is actually quite quite simple. What we do is we calculate the difference for any particular bar between the upper and the lower Bollinger Bands and then we calculate the difference between the Bollinger Price which in this case is the close price uh, minus the lower band and then using this value divided by this value we then calculate where this would appear on this arbitrary scale where the upper band is set at 50 and the lower band is set at minus 50. So let me just explain that using the actual program itself. And uh, so you can see that we calculate an average and this is used uh, calculated using average fast calculation, Bollinger price. That's just an input that we're setting as being uh, equal to close uh, over a certain length, which in this case we've got as 20 then we're calculating the standard deviation of that price over that length and the upper band is equal to the average plus uh, number of devs up which again is an input times the standard deviation and lower band is average plus number of devs down which in this case is minus two times the standard deviation so that's all very standard but uh, what we're doing differently is we're now taking this fraction, in other words, in, in other words, Bollinger Price minus lower band divided by upper band minus lower band, which, if you recall, is the uh, calculation I was just explaining on this chart here. And then we're multiplying that by 100. So we're converting the fraction into a percentage. And then we're minus, minusing 50. So, for example, uh, let's just go back to the chart here. Say, just for example, that this uh, price happened to close on the upper Bollinger Band. So, in other words, this value would be exactly equal to that value. So, uh, the calculation would be 1, because this equals this, times 100, which equals 100, obviously, minus 50. So, that equals 50. And... Uh, in that particular case, the, we would be plotting exactly on the upper Bollinger Band. So if we just go to the actual chart, and you'll see that, for example, here, you can see that is pretty close to the upper line. And if you look at the price action, that is actually pretty close to the upper band there. Now, what about if you had a, a closing price which was almost halfway between the upper and the lower? Okay, well, let's look at the uh, the calculation. And uh, in this case, the Bollinger price would minus lower band divided by the upper by the lower would come to a fraction of about a half. A half times 100 is 50, and 50 minus 50 is zero. So in this particular case, if we had a value that was almost exactly between the two, the upper and the lower, then you would expect that the uh, the plot here would be about in the middle between the upper and the lower and again you can see here for example this particular price here is roughly between the uh, upper and the lower and you can see here on this plot that the uh, the plot is almost uh, exactly between the upper and the lower Bollinger Bands. 
So uh, I hope you uh, hope you find that useful. Here's the program. It's very straightforward. And uh, incidentally, I should just explain the plots. We're just plotting a fixed value of 50 for plot one, a fixed value of minus 50 for the uh, plot two. And uh, we're setting a thickness of two for each of those just to give a slightly thicker plot. Plot three is the midline, which is set at zero. And then plot four, that is the fixed bulb price. That is the thing that we uh, calculated, as I explained earlier. So anyway, I hope that was useful. Uh, again, if you're not part of the uh, Markplex mailing list, then please go to markplex.com and uh, sign up.